Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick update to what's happening in the dev channel because Microsoft rolled out a brand new build, 26200.5570, late last week with the update KB5055632. And as I've mentioned in a previous video, the 26200 builds now in the dev channel could be our next annual feature update, Windows 11 25H2. And I posted a whole video on 25H2 is coming, possible build number leaked, and I'll leave that video linked. Now, there's just a handful of changes and improvements I want to focus on in the dev channel. The first is there's a new profanity filter setting for voice typing. Now, I'm not going to get into that in this video. I've just posted a whole video on that. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. So that's the first new profanity filter. And then click to do has received a bit of a change and click to do as you may well know is an AR feature that's linked very closely to Windows Recall. Microsoft says that if your PC supports pen and inking you can now configure the shortcut button which is usually at the tail of your pen to open click to do with a single click with a double click or by press and hold only on supported pens just take note of that. And as you can see, you can configure this via settings, Bluetooth and devices, pen and Windows Ink. And that's obviously a Copilot Plus feature um, for those Copilot Plus PCs. And then the next is also to do with click to do And Microsoft is really focusing these days on AR features and Copilot Plus PCs, as we have been talking about on the channel. So they mentioned that click to do can also be added as one of the four apps you can launch via the pen menu when using a pen with your PC. If all four of the slots for the pen menu are configured with apps, you may need to swap out one of those apps with click to do via the pen menu setting. So just take note of that. And then the last little change just to mention for the purpose of this video, and this is actually something that is bringing a nice touch to the accessibility side of the OS where, where Microsoft says it's improving the accessibility fly out in quick settings by grouping the assistive technologies by vision, hearing, motor and mobility. Those are just cut off in the image, those hearing, motor and mobility. For easy identification to help you find the right accessibility feature based on your needs. And I actually think this is a small yet significant change when it comes to finding those little accessibility features in that menu. And over and above that, guys, as per norm, it's quite an early preview build. So we've got fixes and then we've got a good couple of known issues which are expected. So that's just a quick update and overview as to what's new in last week's Dev Channel build. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.